Hello, welcome to the Maya Toolbelt. This is Michael. We're going to talk about the separate command. Under the polygons menu set, under the mesh menu, under the combine command, there's separate. Combine, which we've talked about previously, and now separate. The way separate works, and I'll create a cylinder to demonstrate. The way separate works is that it will, it will obviously separate objects from each other. Now, one thing you have to understand is it has to be separated objects physically. I'll demonstrate this by increasing the subdivision's height in the cylinder so I have this gap here. Now let's say you have this one object you want to pop off the top. I want to select all these faces from the top. I want to separate them from the bottom. I'll go to mesh, separate. You'll see nothing will happen. My cylinder is still in my outliner. Nothing's been manipulated. Nothing's changed. Because separate needs to have a, a, a gap. Like it needs to know this object in its entirety, this surface in its entirety, is going to separate from that surface in its entirety. And there's a separation that, the, that Maya knows to separate it from. I'm just trying to select these middle faces here. Now, if I deleted this strip of faces in the middle, delete, you'll see that now there's an obvious gap. There's an obvious separation in the surface, but it's still one object. If I wanted these two to be, these two halves to be their own objects, I'll need to separate them. And this is where the separate command comes in, because I have one object in my scene. If I just select it, go to mesh, separate. You'll see now. The top half is highlighted this green color. The bottom half is white, which is Maya's way of indicating you have multiple objects selected. And over here in my outliner, you see now I have this group called P-Cylinder 1. And if I expand that group, I now have these two surfaces separated within that group in a transform node. That's how you use a separate command. You're literally taking two surfaces that are not, like I said, merged together and separating them. So the fact that these two objects are within a group can be confusing. Uh, if you don't have the outliner open or you're unaware of it, if you just did the separate command, the two objects have been separated visually. You can select them individually. There's no way for you to necessarily know that they've been grouped together. So you may take this object, move it over here, take this object, move it over there. They can be miles apart in your scene doing completely different things within your scene but yet they're still this group together uh, node and it could cause headaches later down the line so what I like to do is after doing a separate it'll have both objects selected like this I will just immediately hit shift P shift P will unparent if you go to edit unparent and it will remove these two objects from that group so then if I delete the history, that group goes away. So it's, that's that group node with the transform node, it's just become kind of a trash node. It no longer is serving any purpose. You can delete the history and it'll go away. If I undo back before unparenting them, so you see I have them both selected, but I have not unparented them from the group. If I hit delete history now, it gets rid of the transform node, but not the group node. They're still grouped. So that's why I tend to hit Shift-P, unparent them, and then delete history. And then that gets rid of that group node as well. So that's the separate command. I hope you learned a little bit. I hope you liked this video. Feel free to comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you have any requests for future commands and tools to go over next, definitely let me know. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.